Um, I was a research biologist and then I came back at, at other uh, jobs for that as well. Um, I found working for Monsanto though I did appreciate the aspect that there were times in the community where I was asked to participate in some community project. One was um, helping Jim McCurdy with his um, corn test trials and every year they let me go and, and do that which I really did appreciate and so did they. I was supposed to be unbiased and it was, it was a lot of fun. Plus you make connections and, and every time that you do that, that's networking. So I could bring that information back to what I'm doing now just like um, I know certain farmers have certain items or knowledge and I can pull upon those past experiences to make whatever I'm doing now even um, deeper and fuller, you know, a more complete story, so. Okay, okay. So, you said, can you say that Monsanto had like a big influence on you trying to volunteer and like be like a big community unit here in London? Uh, I don't know necessarily about a big influence, but during that time, I um, also came upon a project where uh, an early stone house was in the area. And um, because of my work with Yvonne Knapp, um, able to work on that project to see if we could save that house or get it moved to a, a location where more people could appreciate it. Um, it didn't happen, but you know, you still try. And again, that would be a, maybe a tourism destination. Mm -hmm. It would also be a learning experience for whoever we could pull in to help us move that building. Uh, there's lots of different ways that you can, um, you know, bring people in and so that they can learn and enjoy the experience. It's just not me. It's yeah. not me.